So guys, we're back here on Fortnite.gg. In today's video, I just want to go over something that I was really thinking about a lot when I was watching FNCS this past weekend. So as you guys know, EU, NA, all the different regions had their FNCS qualifier one this weekend. And I was seeing a lot of things in all the different rounds of FNCS as I was watching with the broadcast, watching streamers. This is a really important aspect. In today's video, I just want to go over the different parts of the map and how you should rotate based on each part of map geography in each part of the map. So as you guys can see, there's around one, two, three, four, five, six different biomes on this map and in these biomes you guys are gonna need to rotate very differently so I'm gonna go over each one and explain exactly how you can rotate whether it's end game mid game early game it doesn't matter basically just mobility within these different biomes the geography of them and the layout so to get started off I want to start off obviously down here in the bottom left this is gonna be kind of the grasslands or almost savanna territory however what people seem to misunderstand about this biome is that this biome right here I'm gonna separate it with this green line this biome right here is very rocky there's gonna be tons of mountains there's gonna be tons of hills very rocky terrain there's gonna be steep drop-offs plateaus cliffs stuff like that and the be best thing about this place is gonna be a lot of a really good road network that's the main thing so if you guys have the ability to run on the road if you guys have the ability to rotate around like that it's a very easy way to rotate obviously you guys can use mobility items that stuff makes everything easier but another really good thing that i'd recommend guys as you all know a really good way to rotate in places with a bunch of mountains with a bunch of you know plateaus hills cliffs slide use your mobility you know use your sliding mobility down hills down mountains sprint you know jump around move around use this area to kind of get around the map that's the best way to do it in this area for in general simply because of the layout and the geography of this part of the map that's just the way it's going to be so obviously you do have access to water right here the slap uh, the the like the dash water that's really important you guys can use that to rotate around this but it's not really going to be an access if you guys are here for for example so realistically for this part of the map i'd say that you guys just truthfully rotate in that way in which you guys are going to be rotating using sliding sprinting jumping all of your mobility me mechanics in game for your character movement so that's just this biome right here i'm going to color that in green let's just do a different color and let's move on to the underworld biome now the underworld biome is pretty self-explanatory as you guys know the whole entire biome has that dash water so i'm kind of going to outline it right here in this color as you guys know this whole biome has the dash water and you can just use that to rotate pretty much anywhere you want in the whole biome and yes there's going to be some hills there's going to be some trees there's going to be rocky areas However, I think the best way to rotate in this biome is definitely going to be using that dash water, using maybe, you know, bananas of the gods if you have them, slap barrels if you can find them, whatever it may be. Primarily, the main thing should be dash water because that's just the easiest way to rotate, without a doubt. You can just get in it, you have three dashes, and then you can get in again. You can keep replicating, keep having dashes. It's a really quick way to get around in any stage of the game, and it's a very smart way to get around them, you know, so just really, really self-explanatory there. So I'm going to color that in yellow. And now let's move on to sort of the, the 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 thick forest biome in the top part of the map. This is going to be one of the bigger biomes in the map. However, it does seem to be one of the less populated biomes. Like people tend to land here a little less than other biomes. So it's going to be kind of an outline for it right here. Sort of right there. It's going to have lavish layer. It's going to have other places you can go to as well. Now this biome, it's really not that difficult to rotate through it because they have a river system. That's the main thing. You have the river system you can rotate with. You can move around with it. And also another main thing, there's so many woods in this area right here that if you're rotating through this area, you just can use, use woods to stay hidden from enemy players. You can use the trees to farm. You refarm whatever it may be. You can box up if you need refarm with wood. And lavish layer is a really good distraction right here. If, I'd recommend if you guys are trying to rotate here in the mid game, try to avoid lavish layer because there's going to be some engagements that are going to be going on in Lavish Slayer that you don't really want to be a part of, so try to avoid it. However, everywhere else, you know, using all these roads, using all these hills, it's really not that hard to rotate. It's a pretty flat-ish terrain, so pretty self-explanatory in this in this part of the map. Just kind of, you know, use the map geography, avoid Lavish Slayer, and use water if you need to, use the, the trees and any other, any other natural cover to protect you as you rotate. Um, now let's move on to another big biome. This is going to be the snow biome right in here in this side of the map. The snow biome is, once again, another very not very populated part of the map. Uh, very few players tend to actually land on this part of the map nowadays because it's very just not super highly concentrated in loot in one spot so i mean the biggest thing obviously is going to be grand glacier and i guess classy courts if you want to consider that a part of it but grand glacier is the big thing right here and the thing about this biome this is the most mountainous and, and elevation changing biome on the map by far the mountains in this chapter are by far the tallest and the most variable of any chapter we've ever had so if you're rotating around the map here it's going to be really really different and really difficult to actually rotate if you don't have mobility items and 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 mats and whatever else to rotate and changing elevation 
the best way in my opinion is to obviously get fizz get mobility items get stuff like you know bananas of the gods all that stuff is, is crucial for your rotation throughout this biome however if you're not able to do that once again it's a mountainous biome so try to rotate with sliding try to rotate with sprinting using your mobility it's a really good way to actually rotate around there because if you're able to use your mechanic mechanical mobility it's going to make it a lot easier for you to rotate than it would if you were to you know just have only strictly mobility items that's the difference so uh, it's a very hard biome to rotate and obviously there's some water that you guys can use to rotate however really just either have mobility in mats or slide around the map use your mechanical mobility and that's pretty much it for this biome now in my opinion the easiest biome to rotate in this season is going to be the olympus biome so i'm going to highlight this one in i'm going to highlight this one in black right here so as you guys can see the olympus biome is fairly large and it's actually fairly populated considering that it's a pretty new biome it's a lot of people like to land here it's just how it is so this olympus biome is pretty flat in this area uh, it's very simple to rotate here there's a little bit there's a couple like ravines a couple of valleys stuff you have to get past but the only hard part really is to rotate on the very big corner of the map there's this this little corner rotating on the very elevated like there's obviously going to be mount olympus the actual mountain itself there's gonna be these mountains and these cliffs in the back obviously the thing is though about this part of the map you obviously have the water that can easily wrap around the map if you need that but also there's a launch pad on this hill you guys can obviously use this water you can use any other aspects of rotation getting bananas of the gods getting slap barrels there's plenty of them around here basically rotating out this part of the map is only hard if you're landing below this line right here if you're landing below this line then it's actually difficult to rotate out this part of the map and if you do that you need to have a launch pad you need to have the ability to actually rotate out using map mobility using mobility items if possible obviously you can run on foot you can swim and wrap the map if you need but it's really not that difficult this in my opinion this is the easiest biome because most of the people that land in this biome are on this part of the map pretty much off the rip so even in fncs lobbies in which is stacked if you really need to you can just wrap the map it's not that difficult to actually rotate out of this biome and in this last section we're going to go over the biggest biome on the map this is going to be obviously the standard grasslands green sort of normal biome uh, that people can people associate with fortnite so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to highlight this one in sort of a orange-ish color now the thing with this biome is that this biome almost feels like it's it's not as big as it actually seems to be because all of these pois are fairly accessible and there's so many pois in this biome as well so if I outline it, I outline it in orange right here, as you guys can see, in this part of the map, guys, it's very crucial that you're rotating basically all the time using some variety of water, mobility if you have it, or also movement in your character. So sprinting, mantling, sliding, and all that stuff's crucial. It's not a very mountainous and elevation changing biome. Yes, there's going to be a couple of hills around this around these areas, but it's not going to be that elevation too many elevation changes the distance from from ruin uh, from restored reels to to reckless railways is not that long the distance from restored reels to fencing fields not that big the distance from from any of these smaller pois like the mini snooty snooty steps and whatever else that's not that big of a distance so everything in this in this biome feels a lot closer together because there's just more pois in a smaller amount of area so truthfully if you're rotating throughout this biome guys the best way to rotate around it in my opinion is just use water you have access to water you have access to flow barriers from fencing fields if you need you have access to all that stuff use that stuff to rotate around the map quicker use that stuff to get around the map quicker it's going to help you out a lot in the long run so truthfully if you're in this biome just just rotate around as if you would if you were running on a, in a flat area it's very similar to that obviously watch out for these hills watch out for elevation elevation is better if you can rotate on it because you have more sight lines you have more ability to see but truthfully if there's not too many tricks for this biome there's not too many sliding different mechanics like that tricks it's not really that important so honestly if you guys are able to actually rotate in this biome using that strategy you're definitely going to succeed a lot but guys that is the video on how to rotate in each biome i hope you guys enjoy this new format once again let me know if you like this format of video in the comments down below but i will see you all in the next video bye guys